today. Uh, we're sharing the word of God today. In Adverse, in the market. And we're sharing the word of God about Jesus today. Jesus Christ is the only way to be saved today. God is a holy God. God is a holy God, a mighty God, a great God. God is over the universe. God is over creation. God is all powerful. And God seeks salvation for you and me today. The Bible says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever shall believe on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And God wants you to have everlasting life today. If you were to die tonight, if you were to die tomorrow, what would happen to you? Where would you go if you die? The Bible talks about heaven and the Bible talks about hell. Jesus said there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have you ever lied? Have you lied? Have you been lying? Have you been a liar? Have you been lying? Have you been stealing? Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not lie. Have you been lying? Who have you been lying to? Thou shalt not lie. The Bible says, Thou shalt not steal. Have you stolen? Have you lied? Well, when Christ died on that cross, He died for your lies. He died on that cross for every lie that you did, for every stolen thing that you did, every wrong thing that you did. He died on that cross for you to bring you home, my friend, to bring you home from to heaven, to bring you home to salvation, to bring you home to grace. He loved you and died for you on that cross. He loved you and died for you on that cross that you might be forgiven, that you might be washed. Dorcas, you come over there, That you might be washed, that you might be clean, that you might be forgiven, that you might be restored. Whether you're rich or poor, whether you have a million CDs, or whether you have no CDs, when you die, you cannot take your money with you. When you die, you take yourself with you. And you come before God on judgment day. But Christ died on that cross. Christ loved you. Christ died for you. Christ gave his life for you. He loved you and died on that cross. So don't go to hell today. Don't go to hell and burn in hell. And know the wrath of God in your life. Have you ever lied? Have you ever stolen? Have you ever slept around when you didn't sleep around? Have you worshipped false gods, false gods like Allah, and you've worshipped a false god? Then the wrath of God is coming, but the wrath was poured upon Christ, and He died for you because He loved you. He loved you. God bless you, brothers. He loved you and died for you on that cross. He loved you and died for you on that cross. You don't need a super pastor to get saved. You don't need a super bishop to get saved. The only thing that you need to get saved is Christ. Christ loved you. Christ died for you. Christ gave his life for you on that cross. Christ shed his blood for you on that cross. That is what you need in life. You need Christ, the Son of God. For he is the one that loved you and died for you. He is the Son of God that poured out His life on that cross. You may be rich or poor, but you're happy if you know Jesus. You're blessed 
if you know Jesus. You're saved if you know Jesus. Thank you, brother. You're washed in the blood of the Lamb. Saved in the blood of the Lamb. Clean in the blood of the Lamb. Washed in the blood of the Lamb. Saved in the blood of the Lamb. It's the blood of the Lamb that saves you. The blood of Jesus.